What's good, y'all? It's the Dumb Machette, Saria, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another reaction. Super excited about this video. If you're new to us, and we're new to you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that the subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 50k. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family without further ado. Let's get into the video. Let's get it. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome one of the hottest young comedians in the country today. I'm telling you. He got my stamp. This cat is hot. Please put your hands together for Cat Williams. Let's get it. I remember that setup. Now the girls dropping rose petals. <laughs> Come I on, man. See this. <laughs> the quality in this video is crazy. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. What a pleasure to be here. Uh, so wonderful to be in Pasadena, where it's 138 during the day and 36 at night. A pimp don't know what to wear. I'm in the hotel lobby. I got on a fur coat, some swim trunks, some Timberlands, and an umbrella, because I don't know what may happen. That's a crazy this combo. Bitch this evening. <laughs> That's a crazy combo. Oh, look, 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 look. I am just here to remind all minorities that with what's going on in the world today, you have got to be happy about whatever you got in your life right now. That's my message. <laughs> But that's a fact. It's crazy right now. What is gas? Six hundred dollars a damn gallon right now. Just all in, I don't care how much money you got. Gas is entirely too high. That's all I'm saying. You are not supposed to be at the gas station making life decisions. <laughs> Bro, you just act the pump. Just eat. Like, did I eat today? Man, I can't get no half a tank. I got six cigarettes. I can't even do it. <laughs> The whole gas station experience used to be if you had 10 15 dollars you could go to the gas station with confidence because you knew you was either going to be full or damn near full yeah if yeah you had a 20 you ain't even talk to the person at the counter you just 20 on the left bitch that's it <laughs> that's it that's a wrap they done messed up the whole gas station experience used to be if you put 15 dollars in your tank you had time to bond with your vehicle. You had time to put the nozzle in and set yeah. the clicker and yeah. look through your car and clean off the dashboard and look through your CDs and run in the store and get some Pringles and a snapper and then it'll still be pumping. <laughs> now if you put $15 in, you can't even turn around what? good for that son of a bitch click. As soon as you put it in, just click, click. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no damn gas in that car. <laughs> they didn't do nothing to the needle. The world is a crazy place. That's all I'm saying. I'm living in Hollywood now. I'm Man, hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, he got mad support out there. I seen a lot of familiar faces in the audience. Mm -hmm. And I know that felt good, you know, being that he's on the uprise. First of all, Steve always said, hey, you know what? I'm stamping this gentleman when mm -hmm. he come out. And then when he come out, he look in the audience. And you see all these famous people, bro. Mm -hmm. That's big. That's really big. Yeah, I... I remember the setup, but I don't remember this show. Yeah, yeah. I remember the or setup. Or was this like the upgraded Comic View? Because I remember they did say Comic View out of New Orleans at one point. Yeah, I can't even point out what know. it was, how it went so. down. I just, you know, memory telling me somewhere in my childhood, mm -hmm. I remember seeing the setup. Mm -hmm. That's it. The stuff I thought was real ain't even real. I met DMX six months ago. This Negro is two inches taller than me. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. I thought he was 6'12 or something. <laughs> this Negro is my size. And he really be talking like that. We at the restaurant, he, hey, yo, bitch. Get <laughs> <laughs> some water. Have some lemon. <laughs> Negro, why are you hollering? We in a restaurant. <laughs> I'm out there meeting big time celebrities. I meet Shaquille O'Neal. Me and him become friends. Then I find out I can't even be his friend in public because he's just too damn tall. Bro, right, look, I'm real you on your life. Game and you got your thing all on my forehead. Oh! <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, my Lord. Nah, Shaq is huge. Like it's a tall dude. It really is. It's a crazy place. Because when you start being in Hollywood making some money, then you get rich friends. And you got to be real cool with you because I got rich friends now. Martin Lawrence is my friend. I go to Martin's house. Martin got a $36 million house. 36 Look how he's sitting. Sometimes I just be in the tribe, right? Like, look at this ridiculous bullshit. I'm just for eating and sleeping, Martin. But I'll be there every chance I get. Because you can do anything in a $36 million house. Whatever I want to do, you want to play pool, it's a pool hall. You want to go hang gliding, he got hang gliding. You want to play basketball. 
basketball, it ain't a basketball court with concrete. He got some soft stuff on it. Make a Negro jump, jump high. Yeah. <laughs> Do it hard, bro. Do it hard. You want to watch a movie? He ain't got a plasma TV. He got a theater. A theater. <laughs> With real popcorn popping behind glass. Now you don't even want no popcorn. You just be like, oh. look at this buttery bush. <laughs> and I be having a ball over Martin's house. Forgetting that I got to leave Martin's house and go back to my house. Mm. Now I'm at my house all ungrateful. Just I can't even sleep here. Okay? <laughs> Who put this baby? Oh. Oh God damn. Where I'm going to watch a movie on the TV, bitch? Classic, man. <laughs> Classic. A crazy place. Used to be all you had to do was just smoke some weed, but not anymore because now weed is messed up. I don't know why it's so strong. All I'm saying is I had to tell all the weed salesmen when I say I want weed, I mean regular weed. I don't want nothing with a nickname, not thriller, killer, oh, salmonella, none of that. Wait a minute. Hey, because man, you gotta pause it. Hey, used to you gotta pause weed. it. Hold wow. on. Guess what I just saw? Who you saw? Guess what I just saw? Kevin Hart. Really? Bro, I just saw this Kevin Hart. This has to be an award show then. Or, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, no, That's this is not an award show because it's set up. But I, I, I need a chance to think because I got tears just falling through my eyes and my head starting to hurt. My cheeks starting to hurt. Nah, dude's hard, bro. <laughs> yeah. I miss this about comedy. Cat is the one. When it comes to comedy, he mm -hmm. never miss. Yeah. He never miss, bro. Like, Huh. I miss the I miss this. Yeah, I really yeah. do. Like it brings you back. Nostalgic, you know? Mm-hmm. The this brother in LA sold me some stuff, had me looking at the refrigerator for three hours. I'm just in the kitchen That's sitting on minute. the stove. Just <laughs> And if you are amateur, you don't have no business messing with a professional. I had to learn the hard way. Snoop was doing a TV show. Snoop said, when we take a break, we're going to go to my trailer and hit some weed. I was like, you ain't said nothing with no hit some weed. I ain't say that to him, but I was thinking it. <laughs> so I'm, I'm in the trailer. It's me, Snoop, and two brothers. I watch them roll it, light it, put it in rotation. I know the rules. Puff, puff. I see you've been to a seminar yourself. <laughs> Bro, look at the pitch, though. Catch the pitch. Not too many comedians can throw it out there and they pick up that quick. The right. audience pick up that quick and they hand it right back to them. The engagement was perfect. Dude, don't miss, man. Even if you don't know. Raw. You know. You know you know. <laughs> but about oh. four and three-quarter minutes, I start noticing that I am higher than I have ever been my entire life. Mm. I don't mean cool high. I'm talking about scary high. high, high, high. Scary high. The stage was fire after that. Mm -mm. Whoever came out after him, I'm sorry. Mm -mm. You had to mm -mm. like be on top of your game. That's hard. Babe. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, my, he my head. I didn't have a break. I, I didn't have a break. Nah, I feel like we all need a good laugh. It's good for the soul. For real. It's always good for the soul. For real. That's why I miss these comedy reactions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we haven't did comedy in since whew. over a year. Yeah, um, y'all yeah. actually brought this back to this channel. Yeah. Um, we did like stand up, like with the new comedian age and everything, whatnot. How people, you know, have these skits and whatnot going, which is funny, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Skits. But when yeah. it comes to stage comedy, we haven't done that one in a in a good minute, really good minute. Nothing like it. No. <sighs> All right, y'all. This was the video. We hope you guys enjoyed it with us. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.